trial of a high-profile Jacksonville rapper has been delayed. Noah Williams, who performs under the name Spinabins, is charged with possession of a firearm by a gang-related felon. In addition to his successful music career, Williams is also affiliated with a violent street gang that police say is responsible for dozens of homicides. The extent to which this, his gang ties will be allowed at trial, that was one issue discussed at today's hearing. The judge did not issue a final ruling. The judge did, though, agree to delay the trial at least two weeks, time that Williams will have to spend behind bars. His bond was revoked last week after police say he removed his ankle monitor. Hey man, stay safe world, you already know what's going on. We gotta talk about this situation with Jacksonville rapper Spinner Benz, man. Spinner Benz is basically facing a trial right now for a gun case in Jacksonville and he's unable to afford a lawyer, man. It's a sad situation, I guess, but we're gonna get more into it. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run this up. So, if you didn't know already, Jacksonville rapper Spinner Benz who's known for this hit song, Who I Smoke, featuring Young and Ace, Wappa with the Choppa, Fast Money Goon, all the like Jacksonville dudes, basically like the opposition of Jacksonville rapper Julio Fulio. They basically traded disses back and forth for their songs where they dropped Who I Smoke and Julio Fulio dropped his, his version of that type of diss track where he sampled the Fantasia song and made that song When I See You. He's facing a gun charge right now, and he's unable to get a lawyer, which is kind of crazy. You would think that he would have money for it, but let's get into it. So, a whole high-profile Jacksonville uh, rapper can't afford an attorney, according to court filings in a two pending criminal cases against him. According to a court order, Noah Williams, who performs under the name Spinner Benz, was declared indigenous by a judge after providing an affidavit for insolvency, indicating he cannot pay for legal counsel. The order says a public defender will be appointed to represent him at no cost. Williams is headed to trial later this month on a 2021 charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He was out on bond in that case until his arrest earlier this month on charges of tampering with an electronic device. Police say he removed his court-ordered ankle monitor and then tried to do the dash on some KK shit. Williams is represented by a formal federal prosecutor out of Orlando in a firearms case. It's no longer clear what changed about his financial situation since retaining his lawyer that was a result in his indigenous. An application for criminal indigenous status on file in the case is blank except for Williams' name and the case number. According to the records, Williams bonded out on his um, following 2021 arrest after his bail was set to 150000 where the bond only requires you to pay 10% of the bail, so he only had to pay 15000 and he originally had a lawyer that went out of his way to talk about how he has like a super popping fan base, and he got super popular for the song Who I Smoke, and he basically got a tampering charge following cutting his ankle monitor, which is like honestly the dumbest shit ever, but I guess he went and tried to do it, try to like, you know, get this music off because you know he's not gonna be able to pay for a lawyer or anything without being able to do it but i mean when you look at his i'm gonna I'm check out his his page right now and i'm trying to see for the who i smoke video if it was by a label or if he just dropped that shit independently so it's on his channel doesn't say anything about this i mean i guess a a team records is that like an actual uh, record label a team records jacksonville I guess it's an actual like record label, but it doesn't even really say much about it. But whatever the rule is, I mean, they, I don't even know. Did they even, it, I wonder if that's just his label because if they're obviously not paying him money. I mean, like his last lawyer said that he was negotiating a deal with cinematic records based off his talent, but I'm guessing that didn't go through, but he's basically facing this case all alone, man. That's crazy. So he released that song with some independent shit. So I don't understand why he's not making money off of it. I mean, it has 40 million views, so he should be making steady bread off that shit, but apparently he's not. I mean, when you check out all his like most recent stuff, um i bet i guess he's just about to drop he's, in 15 hours he's about to drop a video his last video that he dropped i mean he doesn't really get hella views 16 18k three weeks ago he dropped i don't smoke Ke keandre part two and that was uh 349 000 views and backwards has 162 000. 
you know, like, I don't, there's no reason why he's not making any money, you know, there's no reason why he can't make any money doing this shit, you would think that he'd be making some type of money off this shit, otherwise, what's the point of even doing it, bro, you need to switch your career path, I mean, like, all the most recent shit has several thousand views, so I don't, I don't understand why he's not making money off this shit, and, like, we could even check his Spotify, too, we can see because it's like he should be making some type of money don't you think but obviously it's not enough to pay for his shit like he needs to fucking switch his career path man you're gonna go to jail and you're not even making money off the shit that you're creating just dissing the ops but i guess he doesn't have anything better to do spin a bins i guess he has 500,000 monthly listeners his last project i mean got two million well, nah, that was Beatbox Rema Remix. His last project, I mean, it's not hitting like crazy. His first song on it only has 10,000 plays. Yeah, man. It's not looking good for him, man. But, hey, maybe he's getting money or some other shit. But, obviously, it's not if he can't afford a lawyer. But, you know, it's tough out here. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this shit, man. You think Young and Ace or someone should pull up and help pay for his shit? Or you think that he's caught up in his own situation? That's on him. Let me know what y'all think, man. Real say, say shit. You already know what's going on. Peace.